And finally, our favorite topic on this and the third, and this is relationships. relationships. So Jada recently said that she would have no problem with Will uh, going on a trip with his son Trey and his ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> so my question to you right. <laughs> would you be open enough to allow that like if you your spouse had a child you know before you and they wanted to take a family trip do they both still have sex organs <laughs> yes then yes I would have a problem with it <laughs> and here's why, because you've been there, you've done that. There's probably going to be not many other people around for you to do that with. And just by nature versus nurture, <laughs> I would be trying to get in those loins and I would assume he would be too. But I would be humble enough to say we can all go on a trip together. Okay. But just y'all, fuck that. <laughs> y'all don't come back. How about that? Y'all stay, y'all, yeah, that's cute. Go ahead. I swear. Stay over there. What Man, would you, what would you say? so not progressive. What do you mean progressive? It's not about being progressive. It's about being smart. <laughs> it's about being smart, <laughs> man. Like, why would I even set myself up for anything like that? So you like think Jada would be setting herself up? Jada would be setting herself up for Will to have, but don't they, I thought they had an open relationship, but I think she would feel some type of way if he smashes X versus a new chick or a side chick or whatever. But yes, I do feel like. But you say <sighs> as long as you're there, then cool, we can be a happy blended family. Yeah, I think because it's like, why are we, why are we doing that? Your, their son is my age. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he knows that it didn't work out between you all. So what are we fronting our move for? Yeah. But if we're all going and we're just showing like, man, there's no size to choose. We're all, you know, a blended yeah. family. That's totally different. To act like y'all still a thing, it's kind of like, y'all not though. Mm. And if y'all pushing for that, huh, why? <laughs> I'm just saying. She wants that old thing back. Uh, whatever. She want them heroin tracks. What you say? I don't agree. I think. Um, you just like your space, though. You would love an empty house. You don't care how you get it. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll go. I'll stay. I'll move. <laughs> you, you just love your personal space. So you buy it. Uh, well, and I would like I would go on a trip with my kids, dad, right. and, like. All together with the kids. Okay. And you'll return to a empty <laughs> house. <laughs> oh, it would look like a barren womb. Yeah, no. Yeah, no furniture, no <laughs> nothing. And they will take everything out the fridge and leave the lights on so you can see that city. <laughs> I swear, everything, that's just not what's up in my opinion. Well, you know, okay, so if you're in a relationship, yeah, most yeah, ain't going. Ain't but if you're single, I think you should. If you're single, you do it, fuck you. Yeah. Especially okay. with your kids. Moving right along. So, dear DC, been dating two months and starting to notice my lady friend talks a little too much to my guy friends when they are around. What do you make of this? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but going back to the conversation we were having about love is, didn't that shit happen in that storyline where a friend liked the girl, but then the friend got the girl? Something to that effect? Yeah, because he stepped in first. Oh, they're real. Like, damn, they put him on. Like, damn, shorty, beautiful. I'm yeah, like, oh, I'll be yeah. right back. Yeah, he did. Hey. <laughs> Listen, man. Uh, when y'all when y'all are friends, I think we had a similar question a, a couple episodes back. But uh, when y'all are friends, it's fair game. But you should know where you fall in the pecking order of friendom. Like, I know who to hang with and who not to hang with. If my nigga has a Tesla, I don't kick it with him <laughs> on certain occasions. You know what I'm saying? Because the Tesla is always going to win. win. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I got the tall nigga that just came back from hooping overseas, yeah. I might not want to <laughs> pop out with that nigga. You know what I'm saying? But what is the regular, guys? Oh, yeah. Everybody, come on. I got this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. You just got, I think you got to know where you fall in the pecking order because it's fair game. All's fair and, and, and love and clubbing fair and drinking game. or whatever when you bring, don't bring your girl around, G, if you're not trying to get her cuffed. Sometimes she just could be having conversation. 
Because you might have a friend that's funny, right? And he's the entertainer of the group. Yeah, but that can go way south, and it has before. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to the point where I, I'm sorry, my man. I was in my man's girl's face because it was like he brought this dope-ass chick to a function that was mostly us, and it's like, you don't be on that. What are you doing with this beautiful queen? She's like, oh, that's so bad. I'm like, no, this nigga's ugly as fuck. Why are you with? Like, it, it got extreme because it was liquor there. So I just, you know, kind of went in, went in, went in. It went to the point where he was like, dude, leave me and my girl alone, man. And they're no longer together. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, don't bring your girl around me because I'm not finna change up. If anything, I'm finna turn up because you don't, we, we don't do that. We yeah. Don't do that. Take, you, take your girl to a nice boating, outing, you know what I'm saying? Go look at the skyline and some shit. Don't bring your girl around me. Ooh, you rough. Okay. Next. Dear DC, my boyfriend and I haven't really been having much sex recently. Oh. We sat down to talk about it, and he wants to experiment. Hmm? I told him that I would only do things for my husband. Mm. Did I just scare him off of my unwillingness to take our sex life to the next level? Ladies first on this one. What say you? <laughs> Um, I, th I think I said on the comment, you just got to be comfortable. So mm. do whatever you feel comfortable doing. If you don't feel comfortable, I just don't need the excuses. Yeah. I'll laugh. Yeah. Oh, I'm only going to do this. He really don't care because mm. he's not even thinking about that right now, mm -hmm. especially not as we have in this conversation. Living for the moment. So, I mean, just say, when well, no, I'm not comfortable with that. Let me think about it or whatever. Right. But the excuses I feel like are unnecessary. Yeah. And it's just annoying yeah, to yeah, the guy. Yeah. Makes you feel like a liar. You know? Yeah. It's, just, it's just kind of feel like, you ain't getting married. You ain't even married <laughs> mature. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're still developing into See, that. Yeah, they say that. But. Like, I'm just saying, though. Like, my, this is my thing. And I think on the comment, I was just kind of saying, like, how are you going to get that husband if you don't show <laughs> the nigga what you're working with? You know what I'm saying? If you're just Sarah plain and tall in the bedroom, eh. Okay, well, it was nice, and uh, it's a hearty handshake. I'm going to head back to the main house. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to, damn, show a little freak body, man. We got the man. She's very giving and, you know, nurturing. And I want to see how nurture deep this rabbit hole goes. Nature. Oh, she's fun. She likes to explore. We just like to kick it. We, we own that. That's our thing. Because you never know. Maybe he isn't trying to put you on stuff that he's done before. Maybe he's trying to go get on new stuff with you. And if you're like, nah, I ain't on that. We have the band. He's like, hmm. So now, if I want to be adventurous in our relationship in the bedroom or otherwise, He's you're not be the one. He's gonna discouraged to yeah. bring it to you. Yeah, and that's definitely not wife material. And I just feel like you're not gonna get your husband without giving that shit up. And it was funny though because when we had this conversation on on the post, mm -hmm. Shorty came through and was like, man, you know, certain things are completely reserved for my husband because no other man should enjoy me at the same level as my husband will and i'm just like if a nigga has come in or on you he's enjoyed you just as much if not more as your husband because he doesn't have to stay he's, nah, 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 nah. and i'm out you know what i'm saying that's way more enjoyable than having to mop that shit up and then sleep with you you know what i'm saying so i mean that's my opinion and i'm sticking to it but I just feel like don't hold back, especially uh, only, but especially when you feel compelled to release the Kraken. When you feel and, comfortable, golly, go, go, go with Go with it. the feeling. Man, I think life is a feeling process, and there's some people that you're going to be comfortable with, and some people you're going to hold it back from, but don't be comfortable with somebody and hold it back, because I think you're, you're missing out and that person. And, fellas, don't be talking about some, yeah, I'm going to marry her and then she going to do this. Okay. Mm -mm. Hold your breath on that no, one. No, those things do not occur. <laughs> it gets worse. It actually gets worse. <laughs> there are so many responsibilities with marriage, man, especially if you have kids and full-time jobs, man. You're going to be disappointed if that's your expectation. <laughs> so whatever you got is what you're going to have. Going to get. All right. Well, that about wraps us up for relationships on this week's episode of This, That, and the Third. Man, be sure to tell a friend to tune in, turn up with us each and every Thursday. We right here on the Chicago's East Side Studio 2226. That's located at 2226 East 71st Street, man. Shout out to my man, Raouf. And uh, man, it's your boy, Calvin Leroy King, the third, my lovely co-host with the most of Miss Reese, the one and only. And we are signing out and signing off.